Interest Tracker is the complete online CRM for managing interactions with interests on their way to membership. In this video, I'll show you how to organize your interest list and tools for managing the list. If you'd like to learn how to add names to your interest list, click here to watch that video. Click Interests on the sidebar menu, then click Interest List. Using the search function, you can look for interests by name, address, phone number, email address, even tags and notes. Tags allow you to segment your list. So for example, I can look up everyone who's been tagged with Discovering Revelation 2020, and we see that there are 88 interests with that tag. You can also do a negative search by putting not colon, followed by a keyword that you don't want. So for example, we can find everyone with the Discovering Revelation 2020 tag who doesn't also have the Prophecies of Hope 2019 tag. Click the View button for an interest to go to the profile page where you can see contact information, tags, decisions the interest has made, as well as past interactions and notes. To add a tag, click the Edit button, add the tag, and click Update. Going back to the interest list, you can choose which columns to view in this list by clicking Column Visibility. Let's turn off Tags and Assigned To and add Religious Background and Profile Picture. Those are the columns we now see. You can add tags to multiple interests at once by selecting the interests, scrolling to the bottom, and click Bulk Assign Tags. Choose the tag you want to add and click Apply to Interests. If an interest somehow got added more than once, you can merge those records into one, select the records, then click Merge Duplicate Records, and click the Merge button. Select the record to keep, and all the other selected records will get merged into that one. If a field contains different information in two records, the info in the primary interest record will be kept and the other removed. Then click Merge. And finally, from the interest list view, you can output the records to the clipboard, save a comma delimited CSV file or Excel file, save a PDF file, or open an HTML window to print. In the next video, we'll look more closely at interactions, notes, and to-dos.